bounties, arrests, and sanctions. The notorious Kinahan cartel is nearing its end as governments around the world collaborate to bring about its demise. The infamous Kinahan cartel has ruled the drug trade with an iron fist, but finally the criminal empire is being brought to its knees. And what's the final nail in the coffin? The betrayal of a close associate and friend, an Italian mafia leader turned traitor. In today's video, we'll be going through all the details of the imminent downfall of one of the largest criminal organizations in the entire world, the Kinahans. Before we talk about their downfall, let's first discuss what the Kinahan Cartel is. The Kinahan Cartel is considered to be one of the largest criminal organizations in the world. The cartel started out in Ireland, from where it rapidly expanded. Today, the Kinahans operate internationally, managing drug routes around the world. They are also heavily involved in firearms trafficking. Christy Kinahan founded the organization in the 90s with his son Daniel Kinahan, running the whole thing nowadays. Just to give you an idea of the scale on which the Kinahan cartel operates, it is estimated that the organization has a wealth totaling around a billion dollars. And that's why the imminent downfall of this criminal empire is such a huge deal, sending shockwaves throughout the criminal underworld. The Kinahan cartel gained a lot of influence since its conception in the 90s. Soon it was a global problem. In response, the United States Department of State placed a bounty of $5 million in 2022 for any information that led to the arrest of the key operatives in the gang, namely Daniel Kinahan, Christopher Kinahan, and Christopher Kinahan Jr. This was one of the first major blows to the cartel as it made its leading figures huge targets. And with that, the clock started ticking. As the crackdown on the Kinahan cartel began, various governments around the world joined hands. For instance, the bounty we just mentioned was offered jointly by the authorities from the USA, UK and Ireland. The UK, EU and the USA are the driving forces behind the global effort. And with such formidable foes, no wonder the Kinahans are having trouble staying afloat nowadays. Since the Kinahan cartel is thought to be operating from Dubai, the authorities there have also been working alongside the Irish Garde to bring the organization down. To further deepen this collaborative effort, three cops from the Dubai police arrived in Ireland to greet the authorities. Ireland also sent a Garde to Dubai for the same purpose. Thanks to this alliance, the Kinahans are slowly losing their foothold in Dubai. The cooperative actions between these countries have also yielded great results in the form of high-profile arrests. A major catch was Johnny Morrissey, who was caught by the Spanish authorities in collaborating with the Irish Garde. Johnny Morrissey is a key figure in the Kinahan's money laundering business. He is also one of the seven key figures in the gang overall. So his arrest is a major step towards bringing about the downfall of the cartel. Thomas Bomber Kavanagh is another key operator who was caught in 2022. He is serving a 21-year sentence. Another important chief in the Kinahan cartel, named Liam Byrne, was extradited from Spain to face charges. Even worse for the Kinahans, a drug baron named Louis Edwards, who owed around $20 million to the cartel, was arrested in Spain before he could pay it back. All of these arrests have been serious blows to the cartel, not to mention the various other arrests of lower-ranking members over the years. The situation for the Kinahans is so bad that its members are rapidly leaving. Among the gang members who have been jailed, there is a good chunk that is losing faith in the cartel's power. And now they want nothing to do with the Kinahans, and in some cases, they are willing to offer up any information they can about the cartel to reduce their sentences. And this is not just limited to the foot soldiers of the gang either. Thomas Bomber Kavanagh, whom we just talked about being a key operative in the Kinahan cartel and currently serving a lengthy prison sentence, has also started betraying the cartel. He gave up the location of several cartels' armed stumps in exchange for a reduction in his sentence. For this, Kavanagh has been labelled a rat by his own former lieutenant in the Kinahan cartel, Pedar Keating. As you can probably tell, the gang is falling apart and deteriorating quite rapidly. It does not stop there though. In the prisons housing these Kinahan cartel members, two factions have formed. The loyalists who are loyal to the Kinahans, and the deserters who want to leave the gang. 
the loyalists are targeting those who have deserted the gang, starting up fights with them. Former allies are turning on each other as more and more members are losing faith in the Kinahans. Basically, the gang is imploding itself in quite a destructive manner. The situation has gotten so bad that there have been orders by the Kinahans gang leaders that anyone thinking of leaving will face serious repercussions. But that has done little to stop the rats from jumping the ship as the cartel continues to lose power. But the loss of members and arrests is not the only thing sapping away at Kinahan's power. It is also the sanctions. The Garde and the US authorities have enforced sanctions against various key members of the Kinahan cartel, all in an effort to limit their criminal activity and possibly bring the organization crashing down. These sanctions were aimed at the seven key members of the cartel, Daniel Kinahan, Christopher Kinahan, Christopher Kinahan Jr., Bernard Clancy, Sean McGovern, Johnny Cash Morrissey, and Ian Dixon. What this has done is limit the ability of these members to operate, travel around, and partake in their illegal trades. The authorities have also been able to identify the key front businesses the Kinahans use to hide their illegal activities, which is a big win. Plus, through their efforts, they have also gained a better understanding of the organization's structure and how it operates. Even Dubai has put its foot down. Following the sanctions by the US, the authorities in UAE have frozen the Kinahan gang's assets. Once again, it was a huge step towards bringing down the cartel. As if things couldn't get any worse for the Kinahans, they have recently suffered a worse blow still. The arrest of Rafael Imperiale. Rafael Imperiale is a drug trafficker and one of the key figures in one of the largest and oldest mafias in Italy, the Camorra. He also happens to be a very close friend of Daniel Kinahan. Rafael Imperiale and Daniel Kinahan led a super cartel together in 2017. The cartel traded hundreds of millions worth of cocaine. But why is the arrest of this other gang's member such a big deal? Well, Imperiale has turned into a super grass. That means that he is offering up information left and right to get out of trouble for his crimes. Information on another major crime figure, and Daniel Kinahan may end up being on the list of people Imperiale sells out. Imperiale has already given up various high-profile mafia members. If Imperiale sells out Daniel Kinahan as well, it would spell the end for the cartel. With their key leading figure gone, there is no way the Kinahans can survive the onslaught by the authorities. And not just Daniel, Imperiale is pretty high up on the ladder, and he probably knows a lot of Kinahan's operation, so he could potentially sell out many Kinahan gang members if he wanted to. So what happens if the Kinahan cartel dies out? Well, it is hard to say for sure. The downfall of the Kinahan cartel will leave behind a huge power vacuum there would be many willing to take their spot. One thing is for sure though, the downfall of the Kinahans will be a major blow against the drug trade around the world. The global cartel, consisting of criminal groups like the Kinahans, will lose a key member. The Kinahans have dominated the drug market in South America and Europe. With them gone, these drug routes may finally be closed. At least until another gang moves in. What do you think the downfall of the Kinahan cartel would entail? Or do you think the Kinahans will survive this serious situation? Let us know in the comments section below. That's it for today's video. Please like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Until next time, stay safe.